right, here with Jasmine Moore, now of the University of Florida, and we're in the Jump Smart Texas facility. Mm -hmm. This is her weekend, Jumping with Jazz. We've got about 15, 18 girls here. So tell me about this weekend. It was a weekend for me to kind of just get back to my community and meet a lot of new up and coming jumpers and just share with them what I know about jumps and then as far as other stuff outside of um, athletics when it comes to personal relationships, basically anything they wanted to talk about I was willing to talk about and answer any of their questions. So what questions did they have? I mean, what, what did they actually ask? Just wondering how to deal with the pressure, especially during the recruiting process and even some of the younger ages, a lot of their goals are to jump in college and they just kind of want advice as far as how to get there and then how to deal with maybe not having a bunch of people in their circle that have the same goals as them and them wanting to reach the next level. Yeah, because you have a couple of girls in here that are seniors, mm -hmm. uh, Avery Segura, out of Austin Vandergrift and mm -hmm. Leah Anderson mm -hmm. uh, out of Midlothian Heritage who are very talented. They haven't committed yet. Mm -hmm. Did you give them any specific advice as seniors? Yeah, kind of just like your senior year, just supposed to be fun and for you to enjoy it and whatever happens, happens and just kind of like give it to God whenever it comes to just trusting the process and I know that they'll both figure out what schools they want to go and it'll be like the perfect fit for them. Jumping with Jazz this weekend. Your idea, Kenny's idea, both your idea? It was a little bit of both. Obviously, Kenny has done a couple of other camps before, and then I was thankfully I had a big season this past summer, so it was kind of like um, a timing thing of whenever I was able to do it, and especially with the new NIL role, I was able to do it this year, which is just super exciting <laughs> to um, just have fun with the girls that came, and I'm very appreciative of everyone who showed up. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned the NAIL because now the state of Florida mm -hmm. is pushing through rules and the University of Florida yeah. now has formed a committee to help with NIL and all mm -hmm. that kind of good stuff. And you mentioned your summer, so you and I spoke before the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Now that I can call you mm -hmm. Olympian, mm -hmm. um, take us through what it was like. Uh, during the Olympics because COVID changed a lot of uh, the logistics with yeah. what you can do. So take us through what it was like simply being at the Olympics and competing. It was a lot of fun. It was kind of weird. Obviously, we weren't really allowed to leave the village besides to practice and compete, but it was just a great opportunity to be there and to meet a lot of people. I was able to meet some people I've looked up to. and Like whom? I, um, I met Will Clay, he was really okay. awesome, and then just saw some of the other Florida athletes because um, I hadn't really known who I was going to be with um, in this fall, so that was a lot of fun to meet them, and I got to obviously hang out with like Kendall and Garrett um, that I trained with at Georgia, so overall it was a fun experience, and I was just happy to be in Tokyo despite the circumstances. Alright, so now you're at the University of Florida, mm -hmm. um, what's it like? training with Coach Peterson Holloway? It's a lot of fun. It's a different environment than what I'm used to, but it's, I mean, you're in Florida. It's like 75 degrees right now <laughs> in December, so it's like, how can you not have a good time? And my training group, I train with Claire and Atresia, so it's just a lot of fun. I have a lot of good competition. Um, the girls and the guys, we all feed off of each other at practice and we just motivate each other. Um, the jumps group is definitely special, and I'm just really excited for our team this year. And when you say Claire, you mean Claire Bryant out of Houston area? Yes, okay. yes. So. So what are your goals this year? Um, I definitely am starting to feel a lot more confident in the long jump. So just be more um, aggressive in that event because I know I can hang with really whoever. And then as far as triple jump, um, just to keep doing what I've been doing as far as improving. And I want to win a national title as a team and individual. I don't care what event it is. I just want to win and just have fun and really enjoy my junior year. We're headed into the Christmas New Year season. Anyone you want to wish a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year? Uh, I guess my granny and my grandparents, my granddad and my grandma. Um, they come to all my meets and then my granny is just super supportive. So I'm really excited to see some of my grandparents at my meets this indoor season and outdoor season. Beautiful. Jazz, it's great seeing you again. Thank you.